Good morning students myself Meenakshi from Patawal school Indora I hope you all are fine at home and you are enjoying your study at home Students today I am going to teach you about chapter 5 coal and petroleum of science in class 8 and today i will explain you about coal in detail so first of all we should know what is the meaning of resources as we know that students we use various materials for our basic needs some of them are found in nature and some have been made by human efforts all things which are obtained from nature they are called natural resources now here we can see that the natural sources are classified into two category that is inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources Now first of all we will see what is the meaning of inexhaustible natural resources the resources which are present in unlimited quantity in nature are not likely to be exhausted or finished by human activities are called inexhaustible natural resources for example sunlight air water etc second exhaustible natural resources the resources which are present in limited quantity in nature and are likely to be exhausted or finished by human activities for example forests coal minerals soil etc now some of exhaustible natural resources like coal petroleum and natural gas were formed from the dead remains of living organisms which is known as fossils so that's why students the these fuels are called fossil fuels here you can see in this picture coal and petroleum are a kind of fossil fuel next now we will see what is the meaning of coal coal is hard as hard as stone and is black in color as you can see in this picture coal is one of the fuels used to cook food earlier it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run the engine it is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity coal is also used as a fuel in various industries now students i will tell you about a short story that how the coals are formed here you can see that about 300 million years ago the earth had dense forests in low lying wetland areas due to natural processes like flooding these forests got buried under the soil as more soil deposited over them they are compressed due to the high temperature and pressure dead plants got slowly converted into coal Here you can see this 
Due to the heat and pressure, the dead remains in the swamps area or the wetlands. They are firstly converted from time to time. They are firstly converted into peat, then lignite, and then after at last they are converted into a coal. And the formation of coal is known as carbonization process. So here, students. in the carbonization process we can find various kind or various types of coal so what are these number 1 peat second lignite third subbituminous fourth bituminous coal fifth anthracite and sixth graphite now one by one i will tell you students what are these So first of all peat coal Peat is an organic fuel consisting of spongy material formed by the partial decomposition of organic matter primarily plant material in wetlands such as swamps musklegs bogs fens and moors The development of peat is favored by warm moist climatic conditions however peat can develop even in cold regions such as siberia canada and scandinavia peat is only a minor contributor to the world energy supply but large deposits occur in canada china indonesia Russia etc Second lignite coal Lignite is generally yellow to dark brown or rarely black coal that formed from peat at shallow depths and temperatures lower than 100 degrees Celsius In many countries lignite is considered to be a brown coal lignite contains about 60 to 70% carbon and has a calorific value near 17 megajoules per kilogram third subbituminous coal subbituminous coal is also called black lignite it is generally dark brown to black coal intermediate in rank between lignite and bituminous coal according to the coal classification used in the united states and canada in many countries subbituminous coal is considered to be a brown coal and subbituminous coal contains 42 to 52% carbon and has calorific values ranging from about 19 to 26 megajoules per kilogram next bituminous coal it is also called soft coal the most abundant form of coal intermediate in rank between subbituminous coal and anthracite according to the coal classification in britain bituminous coal is commonly called steam coal and in germany the term steenkohl means raw coal is used high volatile bituminous coal is classified on the basis of its calorific value on a moist ash free basis means ranging from 24 to 33 megajoules per kilogram and it contains more carbon percentage rather than subbituminous coal now next anthracite coal it is also called hard coal the most highly metamorphosed form of coal 
it contains more fixed carbon means it contains more than 86% carbon in it than any other form of coal and the least amount of volatile matter and it has calorific values near 35 mega joules per kilogram not much different from the calorific values for most bituminous coal anthracite is the le is the least plentiful form of coal it is found mostly in the eastern part of the united states next and the last type of coal is graphite coal as the students you all are familiar that graphite is used in the pencils in the formation of the electrodes also so graphite it is used in thermochemistry as the standard state for defining the heat of formation of carbon compounds graphite may be considered the highest grade of coal just above anthracite and alternatively called meta anthracite although it is not normally used as fuel because it is difficult to ignite means its ignition temperature is little high so students it is clear for us that coal is mainly consists of carbon it also consists of some metal compound and some other impurities now students we will see in the slide that coal is processed in industry to get some useful products and we can obtain these useful products by destructive distillation of coal in industry so what is the first product we can obtain that is coke so let's see what is coke it is a tough porous and black substance it is an almost pure form of carbon coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction of many metals second coal tar it is a black thick liquid with an unpleasant smell it is a mixture of about 200 substances products obtained from coal tar are synthetic dyes drugs explosives perfumes roofing materials varnishes paints etc naphthalene balls used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar now third useful product obtained from coal is coal gas coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke and students coal gas contains carbon monoxide methane and hydrogen gas in it it is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants now students we will see that how we can obtain coal from the earth and this process is known as coal mining so there are two types of coal mining number 1 surface mining and number 2 underground mining so first of all this picture can clearly show you this is the surface mining now let's see what is surface mining surface mining including strip mining open pit mining and mountain top removal mining is a broad category of mining in which soil and rock overlying the mineral deposit 
are removed it is the it is the opposite of underground mining in which the overlying the overlying rock is left in place and the mineral removed through shafts or tunnels next underground mining underground mining refers to a group of underground mining techniques used to extract coal oil shale and other minerals or geological materials from sedimentary rocks because the deposits in sedimentary rocks are commonly layered and relatively less hard the mining methods used differ from those used to mine deposits in igneous or metamorphic rocks underground mining techniques also differ greatly from those of surface mining so i hope students this is clear to you about coal topic thank you and have a nice day to all